Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Vlad Inescu. I'm from UCC, and today I'm going to talk about uh, battery depletion in the context of narrowband IoT uh, using interference. So I want to start first by, by explaining a little bit um, NB-IoT or narrowband IoT for, for those who uh, don't know. Um, NB-IoT, it's a free GPP standard based on um, existing LTE and similar uh, telecommunication technologies. It's a low power wide area network um, that enables a wide uh, range of, of cellular devices and, and services. One of the main advantage of uh, narrowband IoT is the battery life expectancy, which should be at least uh, 10 years on uh, two double standards AA batteries. Uh, it has easy integration. It works already with 2G, 3G, uh, 4G, and also 5G uh, mobile networks. And it has a big system capacity um, with an extend and a deep coverage mode of up to 164 uh, dB. So MBIoT can be deployed as um, standalone. So when we talk about the 2G networks, um, they can raster um, a grid of 200 kilohertz and uh, deploy it as a standalone carrier, or they can deploy it uh, in an LT um, uh, in-band, so inside the, the, the band of the LT, and that would be 100 kilo, uh, 180 kilohertz, or in the guard band of, of the cellular device, cellular network. Similar to, to LTE, we have the subframe channel assignment and the signaling for, for the downlink and the uplink. Uh, these signals are basically, um, are very similar to the LTE, but um, they differ a little bit in uh, where they are, um, in their number on their subframes and so on. So we have like the reference signals, uh, the primary synchronization, secondary synchronization, broadcast channel, these are um, the ones from the downlink and on the uplink we have random access channel, uh, uplink share channel and uh, demodulation. So when we talk about energy depletion attacks, um, because NBIoT is focused more on, on the um, IoT devices is the wireless devices and that are based on, on battery power, um, that becomes also one of the biggest vulnerability for it. Um, so energy depletion attacks can happen um, based on uh, of, um, external factors, right? Like temperature difference and so on. It can happen passively um, or actively when someone tries to to deplete the, the battery as fast as possible. So when we talk um, in our simulation, in our um, research, we created um, a threat model and we use uh, two jammers, so a simple jammer that basically just emits some white noise in order to degrade the signal and an intelligent jammer that knows the network and knows how to communicate with it um, and basically it times when to jam and uh, when not to jam in order to preserve its own battery, but also maximize the, the impact that it has on the uh, end device itself. So we use two, two types of attacks, the degradation of signals and um, random access procedure attack where we will jam the response from, from um, from the base station. So degradation of uh, quality of signal, basically um, the energy consumption of the end device, it's um, highly dependent on the quality of the signal that it receives. So a better quality, that means that it doesn't need to repeat the, uh, the message so many times and uh, it uses less, less uh, energy for that. Um, 
So when we are simulating or trying to degrade the quality of signal, we'll try to, to add some noise, some white Gaussian, uh, Gaussian noise in order uh, to trick both the base station and the uh, and device that it has um, a bad um, signal. Uh, on the random access procedure, um, when the base station is transmitting the system information block to, uh, in order to make the, to finalize the connection with the device and to authenticate, um, it transmitted unencrypted. And in that part of, of the message, there are a couple of parameters that um, a man in the middle can take advantage of. So for example, the maximum grid transmission number or the power ramping of the end node. So in case of a bad signal, the base station would transmit to the device, okay, this is the amount how much you should uh, ramp up your power in order for me to actually receive it. And also, these are the maximum number of repetition you can transmit. Um, NBIoT has a big latency and for downlink, for example, it can repeat up to 2048, if I'm not wrong, um, the same message. And on uplink, it's around 148. And basically a man in the middle could, could um, jam the response from the base station in this case, right? And also alter the, the system information block too, uh, which will uh, force the, the end node to increase its number of repetition and also increase the, the power usage. Um, in our simulation, we use MOTLAB combined with LTE toolbox, um, which was LTE toolbox give us the opportunity to, to generate the signals and um, also um, test out the, um, the simulation. So this is how it looks. Um, on the first image, the, the first one, um, it's basically there are the subframes that I presented before um, in a subframe uh, time. And then we have uh, the signals in uh, frequency time. As our baseline results. So basically these are the, the results that, that um, have no jamming. So no jamming attack is presented here. Um, so when we have good signal, 144, um, 144 dB, um, we have um, a battery lifetime of up to 17 years. Um, and it goes down to as low as uh, two and a half years when, when we go into deep coverage and extended mode at 164 uh, dB. Um, so uh, this, the 144, they are the maximum coupling loss uh, for, for each devices. Um, when we jam, of course, on the simple jammer, right, the one that basically just add continuous uh, white noise. Uh, basically we would degrade the signal to those two and a half years, right? So if you we put a jammer that has a continuous power, um, all, all the devices would go to a maximum of, of um, two and a half years. While the intelligent jammer, right, can, can um, know when to jam and what to jam and um, also perform, if we perform the man in the middle attack, then we can perform also the, the random access procedure attack. So on the right, we can see the depletion rate. So the baseline would be zero in this case, right? Um, the depletion rate for, for all the attacks and also the, the intelligent jammer plus the, the random attack procedure uh, combine. And on the right side, we have the depletion rate and the duty cycle of each of those um, attacks. 